Hello and welcome back. My name is Keith Barker. I'm glad you're here. In this video, we're going to do the walkthrough regarding Lab 3 for multi-layer switching. So here is the topology once again. This is the 10.1 network, the 10.2 network, and the 10.3 network. And if you want to download this base configuration from which we're starting, you can get it from the keithbarker.com and look for the lab with the identifier 2020-11-13, and then you can do it too. We've done in a previous video the walkthrough of labs one and two, and we're going to focus here on lab number three. And in lab number three, they want us to use port 101 on the multi-layer switch as a layer two port in VLAN 20, and they want us to use port 102, this one, as a layer two port in VLAN 30. Now the tricky part is this, we need to assign those two ports respectively to their right VLAN as access ports, but we're also going to need to create some SVIs, some switch virtual interfaces, logical layer three interfaces, one for VLAN 20, one for VLAN 30, so that we can have reachability on this IP network between the laptop and the server. And so the IP addresses that we're going to use for VLAN 20 is going to be 10.2.0.2. And the switch virtual interface for VLAN 30, that logical interface, is going to be 10.3.0.2. Now, if you're looking at this video and saying, you know what, I, th I think I'd like to try that lab, do it. <laughs> Pause the video right here, download the lab, do the lab, and then when you're done, go ahead and check out this walkthrough where we'll go through the solution together. So if you paused, great, welcome back. If you didn't pause, we are doing the walkthrough starting now. So let me open up a console for the multi-layer switch. And we'll click on the CLI tab, press enter a few times, and let's start with the show IP interface brief. Just to verify we're starting, let me make that a little bit bigger, just to make sure we're starting with no IP addresses assigned whatsoever. All right, let's go to gig 1 slash 01 first and assign that to VLAN 20. So in configuration mode, we'll go to interface gig 1 slash 0 slash 1, and we'll do switch port mode access, and switch port access, VLAN 20. Now, if VLAN 20 doesn't exist, now it does. <laughs> so it created the VLAN 20 and it assigned this interface to it. Fantastic. And that's all we need to do for gig 101. Next, let's go to interface gig 1 slash 0 slash 2. And we'll do a switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 30. And then we'll check our work. The show interface status. That's one way of looking at it. And there we have gig 101 and VLAN 20 and gig 102 in VLAN 30. Fantastic. Now the problem is, if we do a show IP route, <laughs> uh, oh, I need to enable routing real quick. Let's enable routing. So now that routing is enabled, if we do a show IP route, uh, this router, or this multi-layer switch doesn't know about any networks. It has no layer three interfaces anywhere. So we need to create a couple of logical interfaces called switched virtual interfaces or SVIs. We'll make one that's going to support the customers in VLAN 20. We'll make one that's going to support the customers in VLAN 30. So to do that, we'll do config D interface VLAN 20 IP address 10.2.0.2 with a 24 bit mask. Great. And then interface VLAN 30. So we're just creating these logical virtual interfaces and IP address and this is going to support VLAN 30, which is the 10.3 network address space. So IP address 10.3.0.2 with a 24-bit mask. Great. And we'll do a show IP interface brief. And we'll exclude anything that has the word UNA in it. Fantastic. So there's our two layer three interfaces. These are switched virtual interfaces, one supporting VLAN 20, one supporting VLAN 30. And let's verify we can ping. We should be able to ping. Uh, from the multi-layer switch, we should be able to ping dot fifty on the ten three network and also dot one on the ten two network. So we'll do a ping to ten dot three dot zero dot fifty. That's the server up to the right. That looks good. One got eaten by ARP. That's okay. And then we'll do a ping to the router, which is ten dot two dot zero dot one. And one got eaten by ARP, and that looks good. Fantastic. Now the next challenge is if we do a show IP route. We don't know about any routes that are not directly connected, and R1 is the same problem. They only know about the networks that they're directly connected to. So to solve that, what we'll do is we're going to add a routing protocol. And in the first lab, we did OSPF. In the previous lab, second lab, we did EIGRP. <laughs> and I think just for fun, what the heck, let's go ahead and do RIP. You don't really need to know RIP for uh, CCNA. However, uh, I'm going to do it just for fun. And if you want to follow along, you can. Or if you want to use OSPF for static routes, you can do that as well. So. On multi-layer switch 2, we'll go into configuration mode. I'll say router rip, and we'll say version 2, no auto summary, and network. 
and that should uh, cover everything. <laughs> and let's go to router one and do the same. And we'll add rip there as well. I actually haven't done rip in a long, long time. Kind of fun. All right, config T, router rip, version two, no auto summary, and network everything. And show IP route. All right, no rip learned routes yet. <laughs> and let's just verify it's running show IP protocols. Routing for networks. Oh, you know what? You know what? Uh, it has been a while. I, maybe that's not the wild card. Show <laughs> IP route. Yeah, that's not the wild card that works for RIP. Okay, let's uh, live and learn. So we configured something. I verified it. It's not working. So let's go back in. Router RIP. I'll put in network 10. It'll catch everything that starts with 10. Great. And we'll do the same thing on the multi-layer switch. Config T. Router RIP. Network 10. That's going to catch all interfaces that begin with 10 something. And that should be a lot better. So if we do a show IP route, there we go. There's a RIP learned route. Fantastic. So there's the indicator that's RIP. There's the network that we know about, 1010. And the administrative distance for RIP is 120. And that's the hop counts. So effectively, it means we have to go through one router to get to that network. All right. So let's go ahead and test this now. Let's go to the laptop. And from the laptop, let's go click on the desktop tab here and click on the command prompt icon. And let's do a T-R-A-C-E-R-T -E to 10.3.0.50. That's the IP address of the server on the right. Fantastic. There's the default gateway, R1. Next hop is the multi-layer switch. It's switched virtual interface for VLAN 20. And then we have the final IP address that is the server itself. So if we close that, and we click on the web browser icon and we'll click in the field and we should be able to go to 10.3.0.50 and get a web page. Boom. All right, click on image. Fantastic. And that's working. And that is lab number three from the multi-layer switch labs that were inspired by Paul from Discord. So thank you very much for that suggestion. So thanks for joining me in these labs. I hope you had a blast. If you have not yet studied multi-layer switching and routing to this point, you know, put a thumbtack in this, come back later after you've studied and get that hands-on practice to reinforce your skills. So it's been great having you in these sets of videos on the multi-layer switch labs, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm tired of this And I wanna taste